For almost two years, Charles OKK lived in a Mayo Clinic hospital tethered to a machine. All I knew is there's something beating that is not a part of me, but is attached to me somehow. A completely artificial heart. You can feel it. I mean, it's pounding. It's, it's not a light thing. It's pounding. Very audible. Boom, 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 boom. Years ago, Charles had a heart transplant because a condition called cardiomyopathy caused his own heart to fail. Over time, his new heart failed too. He developed what's called chronic rejection, and that's where the heart muscle gets weaker and people go back into congestive heart failure. So Charles was very sick when he showed up at the hospital. Charles was going to die unless we did something. Mayo Clinic cardiologist Dr. Eric Steadley says Charles could not, at that time, have another transplant. His immune system was so revved up that it would reject almost any new organ. What they did to keep him alive was implant the artificial heart. First, the surgical team removes the right and left ventricles, or the two main pumping chambers. They also remove the heart valves. Then they attach small tubes to the upper chambers and two main vessels. Finally, they attach the artificial pumping chambers. An external machine, or driver, powers the heart. It might have taken you know, a couple of weeks or before I was able to actually put my hand to my chest and acknowledge that, okay, yeah, I have an artificial heart. Then the wait began. Charles' immune system had to settle down to allow for another transplant. Days, weeks, months passed. You have to have a strategy, so it's a long day. To pass the time, Charles read, surfed the web, exercised, and he got to know hospital staff very well. Some of the best laughs I've ever had, you know, were in the hospital. Some of the best conversations I've ever had were in the hospital. Then, after more waiting, a portable driver allowed Charles to leave the hospital. He was going home for the first time in over a year. You guys have made this a great experience for what it was. Home to his wife Natalie and three young children. Thank you guys. Cheers, Cheers. to you all. But it was a temporary visit. Charles couldn't stay on the artificial heart forever. So after a time at home, he went back in the hospital where finally he received the gift of life after two years on the artificial heart. The great thing that I've learned in all of this, how my life has changed, is that I think I know how to simplify my life. And life, to me, is really simple. Life is about service. And that is it. I learned to be a better physician taking care of him because I wanted to radiate that hope to my other patients who maybe didn't have that same resiliency that Charles did, because I knew it was the way to get through some tough time. For Charles, those tough times are over. He's healthy, living a life of faith, love, and family. I feel like I'm the most blessed person on earth. I mean, my whole life, some of the things that have happened to me in my life um, proved to me my life is charmed. This I know.